Hey everyone, this video is on the AR4 robot. This is for software version 6.2. In this uh, software version, I've uh, made some updates to the uh, GUI or the graphic interface, and I've also added some additional control for the Xbox controller. We can see here, here's the uh, new software interface. This uh, is the same as before. It's just got a, uh, a new theme to it. You can still, you know, load a program, and you know play through that program or step forward reverse through all the lines in that program I'll load up a test program here and uh, you know you can teach positions and uh, teach different types of positions move L's move J's um, offset positions we've also got the uh, you know the virtual robot so we can pull in the virtual robot and uh, this robot will jog concurrently with a real robot or you can put it in offline mode and use the uh, virtual robot to build programs offline. We've got the config setting tabs with all the you know settings for communication and uh, robot calibration. We've also got the uh, uh, light theme versus the dark theme. I kind of like the uh, dark theme myself but uh, yeah all the, the tabs are all the same here and then we've got uh, the kinematics tab. This tab has all of the uh, robot motor and th parameters so if you've built your own robot you could use the software for that got the input outputs where you can control an io board or a comm device or a plc using modbus um, we've got the registers tab where we've got counting registers and position registers for offsets and then the vision tab where uh, you know you can set up a vision for pick and place where the robot can pick up parts and then we've got the g-code tab for running some basic g-code on the robot and then we've got the log tab where you know all the errors will show up and you can log those or clear that out. For the updated Xbox controller functionality, you can use either an Xbox 360 or an Xbox One controller. You can use the factory adapter or one of the generic adapters. You just have to make sure that you press the uh, sync button on the adapter and the controller and make sure that it's communicating through Windows. Then uh, in the software, you can go in and press the Xbox on button and then you can see it'll say uh, Xbox communicating so once that's uh, communicating then you can control the robot using the controller you can see here uh, starts out in joint mode with the uh, upper stick left or right that controls joint one up and down is joint two and then on the other stick right to left is joint three and then up and down will be joint four and then on the d-pad if you press uh, up that's joint five and down is joint five in the other direction and then we've got joint six for left and right. Now to switch to Cartesian mode you press B and now on the uh, left stick if I press forward the robot moves forward in the X direction and back in the X direction side to side is the Y direction and then the other stick uh, down and then up that is the Z direction and then left and right that's going to be the rotation in the X direction and then the D-pad up will be rotation in Z and then rotation and Y for those buttons there. Now if we press the X button that'll teach positions so it can you can see here it's just adding positions to our program and then when we press the Y button that should toggle our servo gripper and if we press the start button that'll toggle our uh, pneumatic gripper so you have that control. On the trigger buttons if you do the left trigger that'll bring the speed down you can see here as I press that the speed goes down and then when I press the right trigger you can see it going back up so you can control the speed there with those. And then um, the uh, A button will take us back to joint mode. So you can see here, I'm jogging in joint mode. And then uh, the last thing is the bumper buttons. Those will jog us in the uh, tool Z direction. So that will dive the gripper in and out of places. So the tool Z jogging is pretty useful. You can see here anywhere I reorient joint five and then hit Z in and out, it will simply jog or dive the gripper in and out no matter which way I've decided to point the gripper. If I point it out here, it'll dive in when I press that button. So that's a pretty useful functionality, but uh, that's pretty much all of the uh, control on the Xbox controller. I also wanted to share the new Anon Robotics webpage. You can see here's the uh, the main page and uh, this has you know some information on different schools and different applications of people using the robot. Um, we've got a uh, downloads tab where you can download all of the software. You can see here on this tab we've got um, 
all of the uh, you know the control software. Here's the source code, so you can download the source code or the .exe file. And then we've also got the robot build manual. You can download a PDF version of the manual, or you can view the uh, online version in the community. So if we click on that, you can see you'll have all the different chapters laid out. You know, all the electrical safety tools and you know some of the different uh, preparation and stuff like that. We've got the bill of materials, and then we go through the robot assembly. So, you know, for example, here you can see, you know, it goes through some of the initial steps of getting the enclosure ready and putting the uh, fan enclosure on and putting the drives in the enclosure. And then, if we go back, let's look at, uh, let's go down and look at maybe section three. Um, you know, section three jumps into some of the uh, assembly on joint two, shows, you know, every step, every screw. Uh, goes through all of it so you can save your progress on there so that's kind of a neat new uh, functionality there so if we go back to the uh, main uh, website we've got uh, we've got a user build section this is kind of cool you can come in here and add your robot build and share what you've done we've got a number of people that have gone through and put all the details for kind of you know what they've done or what they've modified or you know how they've changed the robot or adapted it for their you know their purpose or their build we've got a uh, a complete community here where people can come in and you know talk about different topics or ask questions I try to get in here and answer all these questions uh, daily but uh, just all sorts of questions for custom builds or kinematics or you know camera whatever there's all kinds of different stuff here going on in the community and then back on the uh, we go back to the main web page here we've also got a robot kit so if you want to build the robot you can come to the robot kits page and uh, on this page we've got um, you know the combo kit and then we've got you know uh, the stepper motors and a few other kits if you you know wanted to build the robot yourself or 3d print it you can buy other kits there so that's uh, kind of helpful that's all I have for now so if you have any questions please reach out to me at uh, info at and thanks for watching